Hey everybody, welcome back to a brand new episode on the Hermitcraft Season 7 server. I hope everybody's having a great day. Oh yes, guys, that's right. Your boys got the tag. Oh man, I don't have any points yet though, but I'll uh, I'll talk about that in just a little bit. Before we get into today's episode, let's go ahead and do our question of the day. And my question's a funny one for you today. I've been watching a ton of Yu-Gi-Oh lately, right? And they use that polymerization card all the time. So... You have to combine two hermits together to make the ultimate uber hermit. There's a thing out there. Oh, it's a fishy. Anyways, <laughs> who, who do you combine together? Think strategically. You should probably have a builder, maybe somebody who does redstone. So uh, yes, leave me a comment in the comment section below letting me know. And we'll go from there. I can't wait to read these. So starting today's episode off, we actually need to head to the nether for two different reasons. Number one, uh, Mumbo made a new machine in the nether and I want to go check it out. On top of that, I have uh, something very fancy to show you guys. And I still don't have my own portal. Nope. No, 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 no. All right. So I have a golden ticket. I got it first try while I was streaming the other day. I just kind of goofing around some and uh i was able to get it so okay so this is the thing that mumbo built this is called the button so let's go ahead and read what we've got to do here the button what is it keep or the button is alive and it has to be kept alive by pre being pressed the closer to death the button is when you save it the higher rank you get signified by the color belt you put on your skin so we did get a bunch of skins from mumbo so that's cool um, how does it work? If you press the button, the redstone lamp will fill back up and you will get a colored piece of concrete that is your rank. You should then attach that rank to the belt, uh, rank belt to your skin. Got that. All right. Uh, can I customize my belt? Yes. Uh, it doesn't even need, it doesn't even have to be a belt. It can just be the right color. Um, oh, oh, we got a noise. Uh, do I get a prize for saving it in red? Nope, but everyone will think that you are awesome and purple belts will bow down to you. Uh, should, uh, should you laugh at people who are lower rank than you? Yes, 100% yes. Oh my God. <laughs> That's funny. Uh, can I press it more than once? Yes, but your belt corresponds to the most recent press, meaning that you could drop it to a lower rank and there, uh, there's no gray belt. So that, okay, so there's no, all right. Uh, any other questions just ask? It's all fun and games, but people with purple belts should be ridiculed. <laughs> Long live the button. All right, so um, right now it's on gray. So there's no really reason for us to push this. Uh, I am I'm very curious though. I wonder how long it's actually going to take For that to actually count down some because I would like to get a belt right away. I think I don't you know purple is not very good We're gonna have to keep an eye on this thing. I think okay, so Iskall Gave me the coordinates of his gold farm now that I have access to it and I want to go check it out So it's negative 92 negative 4 or 457. So it should be like right up this way some Probably where those torches are headed. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Look at all the drops on the floor. So let's fly up here. Hey, I'm going to land there. All right. So let's go up. Um, so from what I understand, this gold farm is incredibly good. Um, oh, yeah. This is El Mango's design. Absolutely. This is going to be amazing for XP. This uh, The good thing about this farm, and I still don't have a point. I wonder how long it actually takes to get a point. Um, the good thing about this farm is that it's AFKable, meaning that I can literally just stand here. So, but I can't, I don't think I'm allowed to touch the drops. So there's a lot of hoppers. All right. So I think we're just about there. Oh yeah. We're already getting XP. So I should just be able to stand here, but they're not aggroed. Oh, okay. I probably would need to bring a bow or something with me to aggro them or just fly over there. Probably. Um, let's do that real fast. I just want to see how well it works in one five because I haven't seen one in a while. Okay, so they should be aggroed at me now. Land in the middle. Oh yeah, oh my God, look at them guys come. So they're, it's, oh wow, that noise. Oh, oh, oh my God, oh my God, the noise. All right, so I just stand here and collect ungodly amounts of XP. Wow, it's really fast too. And even then I have my armor on, it could probably go even faster. This is, uh, that guy's not dying. Pretty crazy actually, let me, okay, yeah, that's awesome. 
I'm going to go ahead and repair my tools. But uh, anyways, so I want to show you guys the tag stuff now. So I'm going to go ahead and show you that clip because it's kind of funny how it worked out. I was recording with Cleo and we saw Foss. Hey, Cleo. Hi, Jevin. Welcome to the Herald. This place is very spacious. I like it. It's very classy. It's, spa it's spacious for now. <laughs> it's going gonna, it's gonna to get a bit more yeah uh how can i help you on this fine morning of mornings how can i help you good sir no so i've got two questions number one i'm mm -hmm. considering advertising and i would like oh. to know the fine details of that okay well if i if i take you over to the newspaper that we've got on display um this large column on on the left hand side uh -huh. that is a two diamond block advertising uh buy-in okay and then you've got quarter blocks on the right hand side for a one diamond block buy-in okay and how many are on the quarter on the quarter side um on, on there are two spaces so you, okay you split so this a, in half, if i am interested in just buying the whole thing and putting my face on it then i would just need four diamond blocks yes but i would ask for a news kind of thing story that that would help I'm not gonna lie it would help okay well i'm also here to buy a newspaper um but it looks like they're out can i just have one off the wall possibly just take one off the wall oh right. i hadn't i just put my diamond it. block in there i'm gonna take this one awesome all right i've got a newspaper thank you so uh um, well, yeah all right I'm heading well out. let me let me show you out and have a fine day <laughs> sir <laughs> oh there's um oh. there's somebody over there who's that oh that's Foss. oh she's t it? she's it oh man we should shoot her okay i'm, I'm going for it i am probably uh, gonna what? die she's Hang on, hang on. Oh, she's she is it. She's got thirty-two points. All right, let's move in oh, closer. Let's move in closer. Oh god, no! We need to. We need to grab her. Listen, is the listen. Thing. She is deadly, and I'm not good at PvP. Um, and I've I've got my bait. My bed's like literally in front of the. <laughs> we can just die over and over again, and she'll uh, never know. I and... can. I don't know about you. Mm -hmm. She'll just have all my sword and everything. Where is she? I think she's inside the room in there. Oh, there she is. There she is. I can't. I got her. Got her again. Oh. Got her again. Oh. <laughs> oh, okay, okay. I'm going in. I'm going in. Oh, gosh. You're braver than I am. Oh, you hit me. Oh. <laughs> 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 what? Wait. I got her. Oh, oh she threw her sword her. down. Oh, no. <laughs> 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 oh, my God. <laughs> Uh, poor Foss. I think she did that. She might have hit the wrong button. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Oh, I got all of her stuff too. Where's the book at? I want the book. Don't go killing me. Um, I'm not gonna kill you. I got her I'm, I'm... head. I uh, that that book is mine. Thank you. Is, is, she, is that the tag? What's the tag? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, Jevin, Jevin, maybe maybe we need to talk about getting the tag off you when you're, you know. We, I think we need to have a bit of a quiet conversation. Nosy Nelly over here, no. Corrales. No, mm. no. Oh, Corrales is actually better at this than I am as so, well. So, um, is there an actual, like, thing for tag? Like, a yes. book? do you yes. have it? Because I don't have it. Oh, yeah, I do have it. You better hand it over. I'm giving it to you. Okay, we need to work out a deal, okay, about the tag uh, later on. You can have it for now, but we are going to just... just, just, just there, there you go. That's better. That's better. You almost lost but your life talk. right there. we will talk. We will talk. Well, I'm in. Oh, yeah, I'm getting out of here. I got to give Foster stuff back real fast. Hold on. Hang uh, on. Did I pick up... I didn't actually pick up anything off of... <laughs> I got, like, pretty much everything. There we go, and then I think that's hers, and then I got her head, so... I'm false. <laughs> You're false. You're false. I'm, mm. I'm wearing my own head. I didn't realize that I had my own head, but fine. Um, well done. Um, I would run before she decides to that take That is a back. very good idea. I'm out of here. Mm. <laughs> Bye! Okay, guys, uh, I hope you enjoyed that little clip with Cleo. It was so funny that Foss was there. We're like, attack. So anyways, point being, I've got the tag now, but I don't 
oh i got a point okay so i do have a point that's awesome uh we're actually gonna work on making our kind of main storage area today so i've already got the floor put up there you'll also notice that i raised the level of it up one more level i think it's better that way so last episode you guys were saying oh I, you know what i lost my crafting table is it up here it is it's right there okay i want to make some glass panes real fast because you guys said signs and glass panes would be my best bet so we're gonna check both of these out really quickly uh get rid of that that and then let's put some panes down i just want to see what this looks like the the <clears throat> what we have now is pretty good but that seems like the, oh yeah that's gonna be much easier wow thank you guys so much for the suggestions that is fantastic i like that a lot oh my god that is a thousand times easier okay uh so next up we also need to put them in here as well because we are going to be raising this uh level up our elevator up to the floor up there so put that right there that right there i just want to kind of see how this is going to look because it's probably going to look a little goofy i'd imagine um okay get rid of you i'm in a good mood today guys Thank you for all your support. It means a lot to me. All right, so let's go up and just kind of see what this is gonna look like. So this is gonna be our water canal type thing. Let's do a few levels here just to see what it's gonna be. Um, <clears throat> Cause I do, I want it to look nice. There we go. So go down over here. Uh, you know what? That's, that's not so bad actually. I thought it was gonna look a little bit different, but you know what guys? It could look really cool if we had nothing but glass panes going up, holding it up. The only problem is, is that I don't know if you would be able to see the glass panes very well. And I think that structural, like looking structurally at it, it would be more important to have the end stone there. So let's put a block of water, or see if I can get a, I try, try to get a block of water in there, but I know that this is gonna be tough. I'm gonna have to break that, I think. So put that like right there. Yeah, you know what, I think that's gonna work. Um, okay, cool. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to work on getting these, um, all built up and we'll kind of decide on a look once we're done with that. Um, I like this look a lot, but I think what we may do is instead of having the, uh, glass on all four sides on the inside portion, we may end up doing it like this instead just because it'll look, you know, like you can walk in on each side. Plus it'll give it kind of a unique look too. So I have made a bit of a design up here. Um, this is where all of the chests are gonna sit. I didn't really want them sitting on glass. So I think this works out the best. I really like it. I just went uh, to Ren's shop and bought a bunch of wood. We're gonna work on the placements for that now. I also want to get this. Okay, so let's grab a few stacks of wood here. Um, so this is going to sort of be our everyday storage room, but we will also have a much, much bigger storage room too for like the 19,000 stone that I have. I just realized there's no sound. Uh, there we go. Sorry about that. All right. Okay, pick this up. So um, how are we gonna do this? Well, I don't exactly wanna put anything in this corner. So what I may end up doing, let's start it right here. And have it go all the way over and just kind of see how many spots we can fill up so there is uh seven there and we'll do three tall so i think as long as we just do every corner like this we should be fine that'll give us plenty of storage that we can use uh later the only problem i'll uh, eventually end up seeing is that uh on top of here the next level we'll have to have some sort of slabs there 
So let's finish this side up really quickly. I really like how this is turning out. I was, I, I'm not gonna lie to you. I, I was drawing a blank for this middle portion for a long time, but I really, really like how it's turning out. Now, the reason why I have this set up like this is for a reason. So um, first off, let's talk about how we get up and down. There's actually a very clever system, right? So, oh, oh, I forgot a bunch of blocks down here. Let me pick these up real fast. Whoopsies. All right, glad I didn't lose all that glass. That would have sucked, man. Okay. So say you want to go down first off you uh that's one thing that we are going to need to signify we, we got to figure out some sort of system for up and down so just walk forward you're good to go again if you want to get out oh that's the wrong one if you want to get out you just go to the next side and you just look forward that's the one of the reasons why i did that so you can either go up or down there now but i also want to make it really really easy to get in and out of this area so what i think i'm going to do is i'm going to remove some of this glass um let's remove this one too there we go and then i'm going to use some of those glass panes that we have here this is going to kind of signify an opening something like that right so you can just walk out i may even end up doing like a little bit of a balcony i don't know let me know what you guys we'll do the we'll build a little bit of a balcony and we'll, we'll see what you guys think about that okay so maybe just have it like uh one block out or something like that just to give us a little bit of space to fly in okay today is stream day you should be watching all the hermits that seems pretty straightforward so if you guys like that we'll look at it from down here too Oh yeah, that's not too bad. I really like how this is turning out. Oh my God, this looks so cool. All right, so as far as the system for getting up and down, let's figure that out right now. And I have an idea for that. Let's use these prismarine blocks, I think. That'll be pretty helpful. Um, okay, so go down here and then we'll go out forward. All right, so I'm thinking for down, we will use uh, base prismarine here, right? And then prismarine blocks will signify up. We just have to remember that combination and we should be good to go. Just like that. I think that's, I think that's pretty manageable unless you guys have a better idea. There we go. So this would be down. So put that right there. And then over here would be up. Good to go there. I think that'll work pretty well. I like it a lot actually. Cool. Okay, so I'm going to work on the uh, the rest of the balconies and I'm going to get the rest of the chests done and I'll come back in a minute. All right, guys. So I have got the glass for the second floor in. I want to quickly, quickly make a water source because I want to work on the transportation up to that floor now, which should be pretty simple and straightforward. But first thing we need is our glass panes because I think that is what we are going to use for that. So one of these has a hole in it right over here. So I think I'm just gonna do what we did downstairs. Did I seriously just put those up? <laughs> oh goodness, I'm good at this game. All right, so I think we're just gonna go just like this because obviously I, I don't want to, Um, man, I might choose a different color for that. Hmm. Unfortunately, I don't think there's another color that fits within our base design to make this look nice. It's hard to see, but I guess that's kind of the point, right? All right, so um, let me get some lamps down here so we can see what's going on. I should be able to place water down right there, shouldn't I? Actually, no, it's, okay, it's gonna be annoying. Let me pick these back up. I always forget that this is a thing. You can hardly see anything with it. So just like that, you, and I'm using sources. That way I don't have to put the kelp in and then one more. So I think that's going to work pretty good. We don't really have uh oh, okay. Just losing all of our blocks here. There we go. I like that a lot. Actually, that works out pretty well. So we'll do that on all four sides. Now I'm, I have, um, uh, uh, I'm curious as to what you guys think that I should do with this next level because I am thinking about putting a smelter up there but uh, if I do that it's not it's gonna look weird because if it's all glass and I, I kind of wanted uh, an automatic smelter to be honest with you so I don't know let me know what you guys think about that situation should I do um, more like 
just the, so in the in the okay in the past i've always sort of um i've always opted to go for more furnaces than automation just because you know i can easily easily put anything i want into the furnaces so i don't know i'm just kind of curious as to what you guys think about that um i probably lost all my glass panes downstairs didn't i all right let me make a few more real fast um but yeah so um i know some other things that we're gonna put in the levels here we're gonna be putting uh potatoes wheat and um carrots uh automated uh villager farms here we're also going to be uh we gotta figure, figure out a smelter somewhere underneath of the creeper farm we are going to be putting a massive massive automated storage room in that's kind of where i want to oh i can't oh uh, this is one thing i hate about glass panes i can't see it i can see it just can't can't grab it there we go so i actually really like the way that this looks i think it looks pretty good oh my god there we go did i put an extra piece in i did right there so we can just go up from there it's pretty simple and so i don't know i was trying to figure out how i would possibly put a smelter in up here but it's kind of difficult to decide that so let me know what you think up and down seems to be very easy though i like that a lot uh, the base is definitely coming along nicely. Um, all right. So, oh, one thing I wanted to check real fast. I wanted to see the shopping district. I need to check my shops. Plus, I want to... Um, wow, I've only still only got one point. That's crazy. I thought that I would get more points than that. All right. I need to check two things. First off, I'm going to check the TNT shop. What's that? Hello. Uh, oh, okay, I see. So it's the tag two thing, got it. Interesting, I didn't know they made a little thing for it. I wanna check the shop over here, see if we sell any Elytras. Uh, we sold one, okay, so another 25 diamonds. I also wanna check uh, Stress's shop because I tend to run out of glass pretty quickly. Just wanna see if she had restocked the cyan glass. No, okay, so she's losing diamonds because of that. If you guys wanna let her know that I'm interested in buying more feel free um what was oh i wanted to check the tnc shop there we go so oh wow we need to restock that too so the shops definitely definitely need restocked um i wonder if corrales restocked the bookshop yet because i made a chest or i made a shocker box full of tools and some of those tools may need to be finished still i'll show you those real fast too i love how the base looks guys it looks so good i'm so i'm so proud of it uh this one so this was the tools we have been working on all of these are mending you know efficiency i still need to get silk touch for it but so anyways guys i think that's probably gonna do it for today's episode uh and if you enjoyed make sure you hit the like button anyways this is i Jevin. peace out everybody